this is highly addictive. Uh, we've had individuals that liken it to being on heroin. There definitely have been deaths attributed to it. And, uh, it's not something to play around with. A lot of parents don't know that this is out there and uh, how accessible it is for their kids. It's a substance that is illegal that shouldn't be on store shelves, packaged in a small eyedropper bottle and easy to get your hands on. A dangerous drug that caused a major problem at Meade County High School in late May. Need your response to the Meade County High School main entrance. I have a student that is unconscious. It was unlike anything that Sheriff Butch Carrick had experienced at the school before. It was like a nightmare, a, a dream that we shouldn't have come on true. What do you got out there? The drug responsible was a liquid purchased at the Donger Food Mart on Brandenburg Road. Authorities say a student put it in an e-cigarette and passed it around to friends at school. Five were taken to the hospital. The teen responsible was arrested. They were nauseated, uh, out of uh, vomiting, uh, headaches, aches, pain, uh, discoloration. During a raid at the gas station, police found 21 bottles of liquid synthetic cannabinoids that said not for human consumption on the side, hidden in containers. It's what police refer to as liquid synthetic marijuana or liquid spice, sometimes with a fruity smell and often marketed as an herbal incense. Popular brands include Cloud9 and Bizarro. The chemicals inside can be illegal and kids are using the substance as another way to get high. In Meade County, all the students involved were charged. So was the gas station manager, Amit Patel. I'm not going to slap their hand and turn them loose and say, you know, you made a bad choice. You've got to learn. What makes this liquid spice so popular with teens? For starters, the chemicals inside aren't detected by standard drug tests, so you're less likely to get caught getting high. But some of the kids taking it are being rushed to the hospital. Even just within the last couple of months, um, we've sort of seen an uptick in the number of patients. Dr. Amy Hansen, an emergency medicine physician with Cosair Children's Hospital and University of Louisville Physicians, says it's not always obvious when kids are ingesting the liquid. They're placing it on their tongues in a drink or using it with an e-cigarette device. Why is this so dangerous? Um, these ingestions have been associated with mortality, seizures, um, and many of the patients we see have a lot of symptoms with agitation or combativeness. We wanted to see if we could get our hands on this dangerous substance. We alerted authorities of our plan and enlisted the help of a teenager who went to local smoke shops in Louisville asking for the liquid spice called Bizarro. If you all sell Bizarro, I'm not like from here, so I don't know where to go. The 17 year old was turned down numerous times. It's like a liquid, uh, I think it's called Bizarro. Getting that. But it didn't take long to find a store willing to sell it. This shop today smoke shop on Hunsinger Lane in the Hikes Point area. Do you have any Bizarro? Can I get a bottle of it? It was that easy. A week later, we went undercover again at the same shop. You all have the Bizarro? Can I get that? This one. Another bottle sold to us for $25. With the help of accurate drug and DNA testing, we had the bottle sent to a lab in California. What we found inside was illegal, a chemical called AB Penica that was banned by the DEA last year. Is this dangerous? No, absolutely. Um, they were actually from this particular substance. There was at least six deaths in Michigan in 2014. We alerted the DEA, which then got involved, also making undercover buys. It also found the liquid had an illegal substance inside. Before authorities could go in to make a bust, LMPD raided the business and three others owned by Mohammed Fayori and family members. They had also been investigating the shop since June after a complaint of illegal activity. We recovered liquid spice. Uh, we recovered some solid spice, a uh, large amount of cash, and some firearms. Similar to these items, which LMPD has confiscated from raids at other smoke shops, we went back to the four stores looking for answers. At the shop today, too, on South Hurstbourne Lane, we spoke to the son of Mohammed Fayori, who is also facing charges in the case. You all sell illegal substances here? No. They came and you know searched the place, and they didn't find anything. Not at this location? Mm -hmm. Not 
in any location. What did they charge you with? I'm not really sure though. Like, I didn't even read the paper. At the Hubbly Bubbly on Bardstown Road. Were you all selling an illegal substance here? So nothing like that. I don't want to talk about it. But police say they found at least two types of liquid spice inside. Bizarro and Cloud9. When we tried to ask questions. No, 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 no. So, go ahead. The employees shut the door on us. At the VIP smoke shop on South 3rd Street, one of the defendants spoke off camera, claiming he wasn't selling anything illegal. Back at shop today on Hunsinger Lane, where our investigation started. I'm trying to get someone to comment about why you all were selling an illegal substance. Well, you gotta need to wait for the owner. When he comes back, then you can ask him whatever questions you have and concerns. The employee wouldn't comment on the illegal liquid being sold at the store. We have undercover video of you all selling it to a teenager, and we have undercover video of you all selling it to us as well. Um, who sold it? You were one of the people that sold it. All right. Then you can just ask him when he comes back. He can answer any questions you have. Five people who police say were connected to the crimes have now been charged. The four stores in question remain open while this case plays out in court. LMPD says it brings to light a bigger problem. How prevalent is this in the community? It's very prevalent. Uh, there are several smoke shops in the Louisville area that we have already uh, executed search warrants on, uh, have shut down, have made arrests on, and gotten convictions on. It's a death sentence is what it is, sooner or later. You're going to experience your high and everything else, but sooner or later it's going to grip you to the extent you're not going to wake up.